Hi guys, it's DK388. I uh, just want to make a video, just talk about this um, Osmo Mobile 6 gimbal and um, its tilt limitations. Um, I've been reading, it's quite a common feature on the internet. Um, so I've had this gimbal, phone gimbal, for about a week now. Uh, when I first started using it, I thought there was a fault with the gimbal, um, as it wouldn't tilt vertically or maintain the horizontal lock, um, as you can see in this example. Um, I'm trying to rotate it up, but that, that's the maximum the gimbal will allow. Uh, so what I've done is, um, apparently it's, it's to do with the technique. Um, if you can hold it like a sidebar, a handlebar or from a crane, um, <clears throat> it'll maintain the lock and you can get right into the subject, low down, and you can uh, zoom in and out. And obviously rotate around the subject uh, to do get your framings and your shots. Uh, so that's the technique I use. Um, this is the same again if you're holding it like a, a fishing rod in landscape mode, trying to move into the subject, um, you're limited by the lock on the gimbal. So again, if you hold it like a handlebar style, um, the tilt lock will hold and you can get right into the subject and you can do your sweeping shots and your pans as you would normally. So it's more to do with the, the technique. Um, how you hold the gimbal and um, as you can see here it, it just it just messes up um, it can't it can't handle that angle um, from a fishing rod style uh, so this is the Osmo Pocket 1 um, so I'm very familiar with this camera uh, so I'm very used to the sort of t tilt um, camera on this gimbal um, so it's very wide so you can get low down and it'll still maintain the vertical tilt lock uh, so you could sort of frame in and out of the subject very low down and then you can do your sweeping shots panning down to the ground having owned the uh, osmo pocket for a number of years and uh, f very familiar with how to um, to use the camera and also it's uh, where its limitations are um, so i was expecting the same to be on the om6 but sadly it looks like it's a new learning curve for this um, gimbal so I just thought I'd let you know and uh, thanks for watching.